Boom! What's up, guys? It's your boy Bob. Where's it? Oh, wait, it's not too bad. One sec. Perfect. Boom! What's up guys, it's your boy Bob Burzainola again on another banger In today's video I'm going to talk about this another really cool item that I find it most useful in my daily videography photography life and it's going to be this low Manfrotto tripod, monopod, I don't know what it, exactly what it's called Let's get into it Let's get undone He's crazy I had this guy for over a year now and I've been using it almost every time whenever I take I have a shoot or anything like that just vlogging or anything and so I came up with five points that are good uh, regarding this Manfrotto tripod and I think I have two bad things to say and uh, yeah let's let's go with the number one number one is the price now would that be number one? Yeah. Number one is the price. For this little guy, you are paying around $24.99. Well, when I bought it, it was $24.99. Right now, I don't know how much it is. I'll put the link below. But for the price that you're paying, you're getting a really good thing that you can use it on everyday basis. Uh, you can use it uh, for your camera. You can use it for your light. You can use it for another a lot of things. And compared to like um, Gorilla Pod, which is like $70, $80 with three x three axis or with five axis even more expensive it does almost the same thing it literally just folds and you put up anywhere like you can put up on the hand boom it's like right here you know it's really useful item for a really good price and yeah that's number one second point about uh, for about this item is build quality as you know my photo has one of the best build quality items out there and for regarding tripods and this thing is so sturdy and it's really good built like it's metal i think i'm pretty sure it's metal and everything is just i dropped it like 50 times obviously it's like a little tripod you can drop it but i've dropped it so many times as it doesn't even have a scratch like i've been using it for a year oh, Maybe there was a couple of scratches, but I've been using it for a year and nothing, like literally nothing happened. It's always, it's also such a simple build. I know there's a lot of different things like similar to this items out there, but the build quality is not as good as this. Like I, I own myself a Gorilla Pod and I don't use it as much as I use this. Like I can put it in my pocket. I can use it as a, I can put on, I always keep it on the side of my uh, backpack. It's, you never know when you're going to need it. Third point about this guy is the usage. I, use it, I, I guess usage, yeah. I'm not even sure if that's the right word, but the amount of things you can do with this guy. The, one of the most important things is use it as a vlogging camera's tripod, like the holding thing, and you literally just screw up under your camera, and boom, you can go vlogging. And if your hands tired, you can put it up, bam. It's way better than the Gorilla Pod because I find the Gorilla Pod sometimes actually breaks on you the bottom of it, and some, you know, those little balls you can actually take them out and it's not as um, convenient as this one yes you can probably tie it up onto a tree or something like that Ooh, but, but, uh, maybe you can tie it up to some places on trees and stuff like that but this is is just way more convenient from my opinion and it's way smaller so yeah and and another good point is that you can it has a, like a little red button right here off and then you could move the top head and you can face it down sideways number four about this guy is that you can also use it as a accessory accessory in what way for example if you have a um, shell of cameras and stuff like that it's it's really good price as i said in the beginning it's uh, affordable and you just prop your camera or your light and you can put it on shelf or somewhere and use it as an accessory and it always stays there I did that for a couple of times, I did that for a couple of months because of YouTube videos that I did. Um, even though you can't see it, it was always up there and I use it as an accessory if I'm not using it outside. Yeah, that's number four. All right, number one is about, I hate, I hate about this guy. Well, it kind of makes sense, but I, you can't put more than five pounds, obviously, because it's a super small tripod, that makes sense. But even sometimes when I put it on in my lens, is heavy because I have 24 to 70 Sigma and 18 to 35 and they're both super heavy even if my camera is light because my lens are so heavy this part literally just slides down like it just slides down and I hate that because it's too heavy so you can't really use with the heavy lenses 
keep that in mind. So if you're vlogging, obviously you don't wanna, you never use a heavy lens because your hand's gonna get tired. So that's probably off limit. But if you're doing B-rolls and have, and it's your, you're using one Sony camera or any Canon camera, and you have a really good lens, which is heavy lens, Sigma lens, it's it's gonna be tough because it will be, keep sliding. So keep that in mind. That's one of the flaws about this tripod. Second thing about this tripod that I do not like is but you see these three uh, legs, tripod legs? I feel like they get loose over time. Like they're, when I bought it, they were a little sturdier. Um, you can, there's screws in here, there's screws in the bottom that you can tighten up. But after a while, when you use it a lot, it still goes away. Like it still loosens up for some reason. And um, maybe my photo did it on purpose, or maybe they just, that's the only thing that they didn't fix, so messed it up. That's really annoying to me because when um, sometimes if you want it to be a little tall, like a little higher, you put it together like this, right? But it, because of the screws are loose, they kind of slide down and like it opens up and my shot, like if it's a static shot, it kind of <laughs> becomes a moving, uh, you know, panning shot or something like that so i hate that about this as well those are the two things that i do not like and i hope they fix in the future on the next one but everything else about this tripod it's so useful so convenient i highly recommend to for you guys to get this if you're looking to buy a gorilla pod or anything like that try this first it's much cheaper and if you like it i'm i'm i have one but i'm probably gonna get one more just for for safety <laughs> not like i like this and i'll use it probably another one for accessory or anything like that and maybe just use it as a light and put it somewhere here you know yeah that was it as always that was all i want to share with you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you liked it. and don't forget to subscribe and like the video it helps a lot it helps my channel grow even though it's like i don't it's not that big but you know I'm trying to grow and uh yeah leave a comment if you liked it and it was useful I'll see you guys sometime soon in the next video. Ciao. And stay safe. Stay safe. That's important right now.